In this video, we're gonna take a look at a link problem called reverse nodes in K group. So given a link list, reverse nodes of a link list K at a time and return its modified list. So K is a uh, positive integer and is less than or equal to the length of the link list. So if the number of nodes is not, is a not, is not a multiple of K, uh, then left out, uh, then left out, then left out notes in the end should remain as it is. So the goal is we want to do this in a constant space complexity, and uh, you might not alter the values in the list of uh, list notes. Only notes itself might be changed. So we're trying to. Uh, so here you can see we're given k and the and the head of the link list. We want to um, reverse. Uh, every k group, right? Every k notes, kind of. Sorry, uh, yeah. In, in reverse notes in k groups. So in this case, we have k is equal to two. So we reverse the first two nodes because those two nodes are group, right? Each group has a size of two, right? Has a size of k, and we want to reverse that. So each k group, we want to make sure we reverse that. We want to re make sure we reverse each and every single node in the k group. Uh, in each k group, I should say. So no one points no two. Instead of that, we're going to get no two point no one. Then we have no three point no four, right? And then no four is going to point to no three. We're going to turn it into this. And here you can see we have no five here, but no five does not have any uh, has not does not have a size of two. So in uh, in this case, no five does not have um, have any nodes pointing to. So in this case, we're not going to reverse no five. Um, so in this case, we just have those uh, subgroups or sublist reversed, right? And then at the end, we're returning the modified version of this list. So here you can see we have example two, which is the same thing. So k now is equal to three, and we're reversing uh, uh, reversing uh, notes that has a, uh, a groups of nodes that has a size of three. So in this case, this node right, these nodes right here has a size of three. So this sub list, we can be able to reverse them into three, two, one. Then we're going to have four, five. Four and five has only a size of two. So in this case, we're not gonna reverse them. Now here you can see we have another sub list where k is equal to one. So if k is equal to one, we can pretty much uh, we pretty much can say that if k is equal to one, we can just return the the head of the list, right? The head node, because if we were to reverse each uh, a group of nodes that has a size of one, we're pretty much just reversing one node, and uh, we're pretty much just reversing one node in the sublist. And if we were to reverse uh, a a sublist that has only one node, we pretty much do not have to reverse anything. So in this case, we can just return the list. Now I find this question to be uh, to be very similar to the link list number one and link list number two. Sorry, reverse link list number one and reverse link list number two. So if you're wondering how to solve this problem, I highly recommend to check out my other videos called uh, link uh, reverse link list number one. So to uh, Leco 206, and the other one is the uh, uh, reverse link list number two. So I highly recommend to check out those two videos before checking out this video. So to do this in code, I'll try to be more descriptive as I can. So basically, first we're gonna define our base case, right? Our base case is that if k is equal to one, we can pretty much just return the head node, right? There's nothing to reverse there. Uh, if the if there's if so far if the link list has only size of one, right? If head node.ness is equal to null, we can also return the head. So it's the same base case that we had for reverse link list number two. So then we're going to uh, basically define our um, our previous pointer as well. So define previous pointer and the current pointer, right? So then we can just start to traverse traverse the list, right? And then once we traverse the list, uh, we're going to make sure we reverse uh, nodes in K group. Once we've done that, we can just return the head node, right? So our first step is that we have our base case. So if head.nest is equal to null, then we can just return head. And the reason why we don't we don't do head check to see if head is equal to null is because here you can see the constraints. It says that the number of nodes in this list is in range is is in range is in the range as z. 
So in this case, as z is bigger than or equal to one, so we know that the list has at least one node. Now, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if k is equal to zero. I should say if k is equal to one. If it is, we can just return head, right? So once we have our base case, we now have to define our previous pointer and the current pointer. So the previous pointer is gonna be um, the uh, dummy node, right? So we're gonna have a dummy node. Okay, so we're going to get dummy dot nest is equal to head. Then we're gonna get the list node, uh, sorry, the previous node. Previous node is gonna equal the dummy. And then we're gonna have a current pointer, right? So the current pointer is gonna to equal to the head node. So once we have our previous pointer and the current pointer defined, now let's try to traverse our list, right? So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna say while current does not equal to null. Okay, so while current node does not equal to null, uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're going to um, first see if we have the space, right? We have the space to traver to reverse nodes in the k in the k group. Um, in this case, we're going to have a boolean, right? Check has space. So in this case, let's call it space. Actually, is equal to check has space. Uh, it takes k as well as the previous pointer. We check to see if we have the space for us to traverse. If space is equal to true, right? If this, if we have enough space. Let's reverse our link list. So we, we can just get, uh, we can have a reverse method, right? Reverse method that reverse the link list. So we pass in the previous pointer, the current pointer, as well as K. We re reverse the link list. Uh, in this case, reverse K nodes, right? So K nodes um, starting from the current node. And then we want to make sure after we reverse, we want to return the the node, right? The the I should say the mm, the tail node. So in this case, we're going to get prev is equal to tail node, and then current, right? Current is equal to prev dot nest. Then we're going to continue, and let's say somehow we don't we do not have enough space. We know that we are reaching out to the we are reaching to the end of the link list, so we can just break the loop. And at the end, we can just return the dummy.nest, right? So I think my, uh, my code is pretty clear now that what I'm trying to do. So now let's try to implement those two methods that we're talking about, right? So now let's first iter uh, implement this check has space method, right? So it takes integer k as well as a list node. So the, the list node. So now what we have to do is we have to iterate starting from um, zero all the way to k times, right? Because we're standing from the previous pointer. Now the other way we can do this, we can actually just pass in the current pointer. And that way we can just um, iterate from, from one to k times, right? So in this case, we're gonna say for integer um, i is equal to one, one i is less than or equal to k, Right, we just gonna continue. We're gonna get uh, if current, right? So if current is equal to null, we can just return false because that's, that basically tells us that there's not much space. Otherwise, we're gonna get current is equal to current.nest. Okay, we're gonna continuously do that. If we found that there is a space, we can just return true, right? Now, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna implement the reverse method, we're reversing the sublist, right? So it returns a list node, and it takes a previous pointer as well as the current pointer and the k, right? So then what we're gonna do is we're going to um, iterate k minus one time, because let's say if we have a sublist that is that has three nodes, then there are total two connections that we have to remove. If a sublist has four nodes, we have a total of three connections that we have to remove. So i is gonna equal to zero, and uh, i is less than k minus one, i plus plus, right? Um, yeah, so we're just gonna have a nest node, 
which is equal to current dot nest to save the uh, this, to save that node in a temporary variable. Then we're just going to get current dot nest, just like how I draw the diagram earlier. We're going to get a current dot nest, right? Is going to equal to nest dot nest. Then we're going to get the uh, because we know that there's a space, right? So we can safe say that nest dot nest current dot nest is equal to nest dot nest. We're current dot nest dot nest, right? Doesn't matter how you say it, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to get nest dot nest is equal to pre dot nest. And pre dot nest is basically equal to uh, nest. So we're going to continuously do that until we reverse the current sublist. Then at the end, we're going to return the current node, the current pointer, the node that the current pointer is pointing to. So that it basically tells us this is the node that we're going to get the previous pointer pointing to. And the current pointer is now going to be the previous dot nest, right? And if we don't not have space, we're going to break the loop, return the head node, and that's all. Now let's try to run the code. And uh, let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve this lead code, uh, reverse nodes in K group. Um, and the time complexity in this case is going to be linear uh, because we're just going to iterate, traverse the length list once. Right. And uh, space complexity in this case is going to be constant. So there you have it. And thank you for watching.